What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review, and we have a special one, man. It is on the Viper, the Legend Killer, the future Hall of Famer, Randall Keith Orton. And this one is very interesting because you guys know on the opposite side of this Ultimate Edition, we usually get two figures in the set, and the other figure in the set was Macho Man Randy Savage, a re-release of his Defining Moments figure, and that figure has been canceled. Yes, out of nowhere, RKO out of nowhere, no doubt, pun intended. Nobody expected that. It came like a bat out of hell out of nowhere and has taken us out, man. Nobody expected that. I don't know what the whole details are. Maybe at the time of seeing this video, you guys know, or I know, or I've told you about it, but man, I'm still excited for this review because it is Randy Orton and he is one of my goats, man. Randy Orton is one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, but this is awesome. I'm so glad to have this figure, man. I think it is up for pre-order right now at Ringside Collectibles. Go over there, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but this Randy Orton is a figure I've been waiting on. He was on my Ultimate Edition wish list for a very long time, but you got Randy Orton across the top, Randy Orton on the side, WWE logo, product shot and image of Randy Orton here on the back with all the stuff, and of course the bio read, Randy Orton on the side, and that that is our complete Randy Orton packaging, but yeah, man, did not expect this. I, you know, I, I was really happy to have that Macho Man. I was looking forward to reviewing that figure, and off the top rope, we just get splattered with an elbow drop. We are not getting the Macho Man Randy Savage, so we'll have to see about that, but coming into this figure, you know, I'm really excited for it, but at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed in it. We're going to dive into all those things, man, but with all those things being said, let's crack Randy Orton out of the packaging, put him on the rotating base, and find out what this Ultimate Edition is all about. So here's Randy Orton out of the packaging. Liking what I'm seeing here, you know, we got some good stuff going on with this figure, of course, but you know we got the gripes, man. We got the My Damn Gripes going on in this figure video, of course, as always, right? I mean, I'm always going to come at you with the facts about the figures, and we're going to call them like we see them here in the review of the Randy Orton figure, man, but you guys know how we do. We're going to dive into the accessories of the Randy Orton figure first, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Randy Orton himself. So getting into Randy Orton's accessories, standard Ultimate Edition, interchangeable heads, interchangeable hands, cloth goods hoodie, and championship belt. Now, getting into these cloth goods, man, the, you know, I've been begging Mattel to make this hoodie, not this specific hoodie, but this hoodie design, right? The black hoodie with the white inseam right here, and I don't think that, I don't know if this specific hoodie did have this white inseam. I bet it did, because this is a take on his 2017 hoodie that had the RKO. Just these three, I had that hoodie, that's why I know, and I'm also a, a connoisseur of Randy Orton, but it just added the BR on the other side. Pretty clever idea, I think, for merch, but it's got that felt material. I'm trying to think of another accessory that has this style material. It's not just regular cloth like we see with different t-shirt designs. You do have the RK Bro graphic on the back, which is pretty cool. I like the, you know, the snake and the skull and all that stuff going on. I think that looks bad, eh? But it does have that, like, I don't even know what the damn, like, who else comes? There's multiple accessories we've seen in the past that have this material. But it's escaping me right now, but he does have the hood on there, which is cool. And then we also have our interchangeable heads. We've seen this one before, I think, on, like, the Elite. What was it? I don't even remember, man. We saw this on the most recent Randy Orton Elite, I do believe. Not the top picks one, but the other, which is a really damn good head sculpt. Then you have this like eyebrow lifted, like kind of smirky face that's like, hmm, would you say so? That's kind of what it reminds me of there, which looks kind of weird, but the fade looks good. This one's definitely better than this one. And then my least favorite is easily this one. It just looks weird. It just looks like he's going, ha? Huh? What'd you say? I don't know. I, do, I don't really like this head sculpt. I think it's because his top teeth are missing, so it's like he's going like, I don't know. It just looks weird. Am I crazy? It kind of looks like a grandpa or something. And he doesn't look angry. It just looks like he's opening his mouth at the dentist. I don't know. I just want, I want an angry, pissed off yelling Randy Orton, but, you know, what, what do we do now? We gotta wait. We also get the Raw Tag Team Championship. Seen it a hundred times, you know, much better than the penny belts, but it is the silver Raw Tag Championship with the red strap. Gonna, you know, I'm ready for these two belts to retire, but I, at least you get a title belt. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the mic holding hands with the black hand tape that have black pegs. So, I feel like they've been pretty damn consistent on that. They have not missed out on that in a minute, so I do appreciate that from Mattel. We also get black tape fisted hands with the black peg, which is also great. Dude, that's such a nice detail. Thank you for finally getting that across the board correct. I feel like they haven't messed that up in a minute. And last but not least, we do have the Randy Orton posing hands that we've seen with multiple guys now, but they did originate with the Randy Orton, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, they look the best for him, so that's great. All right, guys, so getting into Randy Orton at the top of the head sculpt. We like this head sculpt we've discussed before, but this figure has a lot of interesting things going on with it, man. Let's digress it as we jump down. We do have the tattoos coming up on the pecs. Now, I don't think it, his tattoos, I don't think, go up there. I think they're more like right here, so I don't know why uh, the tattoos go up there. I'm 
pretty sure they're supposed to be more like right here where the butterfly joints are, like right on that. So I'm not a thousand percent on that, but I'm pretty sure they come in like right in this area of the titties. But tattoos all look good. Deco seems to be the same as his elites here, but they do come up onto the butterfly joints. And for the most part, they do continue on the back there with the tribal tat, which looks good when the bife, you know, when the butterfly joints do flex and everything like that. And this is a brand new torso, man. Completely new, top to bottom. This is not the Seth Rollins torso. If you guys were wondering that, it is not. These are two different torsos here. So yeah, I think they could use this for Finn Balor. They could use this for a lot of other guys. So hopefully we do see some reuse on this torso because I'm liking it. I think it does fit well. I think they possibly could have used Seth Rollins torso, but I like seeing a new body mold. He's just, he doesn't have a belly button, Brad. There's no belly button there, which kind of looks a little bit weird, but you know what? I'm not going to judge him. Kyle XY looking ass. And then for the trunks, he does have his designs and he does have RKO on the back, but it's very tough to see here. And maybe I can like brighten this up and yeah there you go you guys can see it there which looks very weird but when it's just to the naked eye it's very hard to see so i do apologize for that but it is you know i i don't hate the trunks but i also you know i i don't i don't know uh, you guys can be the judges of that down in the comments section, but he does have the drop-down hip joints, which are, you know, give or take, but the leg mold's the same. He does have RKO's on the knee pads, if you can see them. This one's a little bit misprinted, and then he does have standard black boots with the toe articulation. Now, the best thing about this figure is the articulation in terms of other Randy Orton's, right? Like, having this butterfly joint is crucial because now you can do an appropriate RKO, and I will say, I don't know, I feel like they could have probably cut it a little bit more here on the torso, like the upper torso right there, but I will say say you can still get a nice RKO in there which is very cool and I'll show that off in uh, right now. Oh Randy Orton with an RKO out of nowhere! Oh Randy Orton with an RKO out of nowhere! So yeah you can really get that nice RKO pose because it you know you go around the neck and then it can reach over and grab which is something we have not been able to do with the leech. You've had to do a lot of like eye manipulation and you know get creative with your posing but now with this ultimate you can get a nice RKO pose without it looking completely wonky which is a bonus you know. So you know you can just RKO out of nowhere. RKO out of nowhere. Now, for your Randy Orton figure comparisons, you do have to compare him to his tag team partner here with RK Bros. So you do have Randy Orton and Matt Riddle represented in the collection here. I don't know if we'll ever get an Ultimate Edition Matt Riddle. I guess it's possible, but I don't know how far away that would be. You know, I have no quarrels. I feel like his elites are pretty damn good, so, you know, that is what it is. And then for your Randy Orton figure comparisons here, we have the Ultimate Edition in the middle, and then we have... I think this is, like, his most recent Elite, but I can't remember the damn... Was it Elite 98? Then you have the most recent Elite with Elite 98. You have the Elite 35 with a head swap. You have the Elite 2 with a head and arm swap. The Top Talents figure, the Elite 91, and then the Elite 78, which is pretty much the Elite 98, for God's sakes. This is nowhere near all of my Randy Orton's or modern takes on Randy Orton, but it is cool to see these up next to each other. I tried to pick ones that are very similar so you guys can see the different colors here. Definitely wish they would have went with a different gear, because I think, you know, obviously colorful gears are better, but... And we never got that teal gear from his Hell in a Cell matchup with Jeff Hardy, which I would really like to see, but maybe that could come in a later Ultimate, or I don't freaking know, man. But I, I dig the Randy Orton figure comparisons. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Randy Orton Ultimate Edition review, man. I like a lot of things about this figure, but I, of course, am a massive Randy Orton guy. I mean, he is one of my favorites of all time. I, I, I love him. I, I love his career. I've watched it from the very beginning all the way up to current day. Like, I've grown up with him, you know what I'm saying? I've seen him, much like John Cena, much like a lot of other people, but these guys were with me as a child, and I've watched them throughout my entire life, so that's kind of where I relate there. And I enjoy this figure a lot. I don't think it's a perfect execution by any stretch. I really wish they had picked a different gear. While I kind of like the matte with the shiny, the designs don't stand out that much. And I feel like maybe you could hit it with like some Mod Podge, like some shiny Mod Podge. We'll play around with it on surgery or something. I'll probably hit the logos with some shiny Mod Podge to get them to stand out and pop a little bit more. But I think the head sculpts really disappoint me here. And I don't like that he's an RK Bro version. I really wish it was just a, this, like this hoodie that he's worn since like 2017. I wish it was just the 2017 hoodie or something like that with a brighter gear. You still could have included the Tag Team Championship or something like that. I just wish they would have went with a more standard Randy Orton rather than a very current, you know, 2022, 2023 Randy Orton. And I get they're trying to move the units there, but I think a flat
flashback Randy would have been really nice. But I love the tattoos. I think the formula is pretty sweet. I think the torso solid. When I was seeing some different images, I was thinking that the torso looked a bit odd, but I'm liking it now. The tattoos look really good. I think you could even darken them up some more, you know, like put some like dry brush or some like shading on there, make them more gray and dark because he doesn't have that much negative space in there, man. But I enjoy the figure overall. I think that, you know, if you want an ultimate Randy Orton, definitely grab it. If you want to replace your elites or whatever, definitely grab it. I also just don't like the head sculpts, man. The head sculpts really disappointed me the most. The standard one, like the straight face one, is definitely good. It's one of the best Randy Orton scans of all time, but the little like smirky eyebrow lift one isn't bad, but it's like, what is that? And then the screaming expression really isn't even a pissed off screaming expression. I really wanted an angry, I really wanted an angry yelling screaming like stupid or something like that head sculpt, you know, just, just one of those pissed off RKO head sculpts. It doesn't look like he's yelling really. It just looks like his mouth's wide open like he's at the dentist, you know, it's just like, Argh. but yeah, I think I love the cloth goods. I like that it's Randy Orton in an Ultimate Edition, but it's not going to be up there in my favorite Ultimates of all time, I don't think. I don't think it's quite up there with that, but I do enjoy the figure, and I think you will too, so. Now, it's all about what you need and what you want, but go over to Ringside Collectibles. You can order this using promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but that is going to wrap this video up, man. Leave your thoughts down below on this figure, and also, huge shout-out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming patrons yourselves, definitely click the link in the description below for all of that jazz, but that is going to pretty much do it for our Ultimate Edition Randy Orton review, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. You'll never be